we have breaking news in Stoneholm. This is one for the history books. I mean it, because Black Eye Games is officially closing the chapter on Gloria Victus. This comes as a shock for players all around the world. Planned updates and releases of skins led players to believe this game would drag on for many more years. This couldn't be any further from the truth. I always thought this day would hit differently, like I might actually feel sad that my favorite game is shutting down. As a consumer of indie MMOs, the death of a game is not an unfamiliar feeling to me. However, I made memories and friendships in Gloria Victus that can never be replaced. There isn't any game I would rather make videos for. With that being said, I feel a weight has been lifted from my shoulders. The war has been won. Swamp is victorious. I feel a sense of pride, and even a smile creeps onto my face as I scroll through the official Gloria Victus Discord. Lo and behold, the community weeps for their money and time spent. I feel like a villain laughing at these messages because I know these kids love this game. But where was all this sympathy when the developers were unfairly banning players left and right? When you had dozens of players every year complaining that their money and time was being stolen from them, or that they had been exiled from their favorite community, or that all they wanted to do was play GV peacefully. You guys spit in their face and expected them to move on. Take this video as me doing the same to you. I'll even drop a couple names directly. You can literally find this clown Epicus posted up on the review page glazing the devs telling people complaining about bands that their opinions were invalid. We have Shinzi getting on all fours humiliating themselves for all to see. But when Zombie Scholar was doing the same thing, they were telling him to touch grass. I wonder if Jero is still banning people from his discord for saying Gloria Victus is dying. Damn, you really switched up, pal. <laughs> the list goes on. This is truly a bittersweet ending because all paths to keeping Gloria Victus alive are well lit and frequently traveled. Unban your content creators and let people who love your game promote your game or sell it to another company. I get a strong feeling neither of those things are going to happen. Why you may ask? Because Black Eye Games doesn't give a fuck about you or their community in general. I've told you all since the beginning. I've always showed proof and just because you all pretended to ignore it doesn't mean it wasn't right there in front of your faces. The entire permaban community is laughing their asses off right now and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Everybody gets to watch Swamp take this W. Must feel awful to be a GV dick rider right about now. Where you at battle brother? The devs milked us till the end. You guys really think Black Eye Games decided this week that GV was going under? Logically think about it. They've just announced end times. That means there's no way to continue keeping Gloria Victus alive. Assessing your company's costs, profits, and options, especially as an independent studio, has to be part of your responsibility as an official company. Gloria Victus has run the same payment model for almost a decade. Let's say, for example, they only make these assessments quarterly. So at the end of first quarter this year, they were good. No need to mention anything, because they were doing fine. Quarter 2 ends with the month of June. So hypothetically speaking, they do another assessment, and to their dismay, they see that the game cannot sustain itself. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the latest Black Eye Games could have learned about the game's dire situation. Please, let's not pretend like this isn't being extremely charitable to them. Personally, I think the devs have known the game was going to die for at least a couple years now. When they announced the game was about to be fully released in 2021, hyped it up, then went radio silent. I feel it's not far-fetched to assume the full release of this game was always intended to be a last-ditch effort to pocket some cash. Let's be completely real with ourselves. If this was all about maintaining relevancy in the Steam algorithm, they wouldn't be banning the community's favorite YouTubers and streamers. Guys, we got played. All of us. If you don't believe me, then answer this. 
If the latest they could have known about the game's state was two months ago, then why not say anything to the community? Glory Evictus was supposed to be a game developed by gamers, with gamers, and for gamers. But it's not. There are die-hard fans of this game that would gladly pull together pity funds to try to keep this game afloat. They would rather know about the state of the game and what it needs, you know, typical indie transparency, rather than be suddenly informed of the game's closure. I can already imagine a developer typing their response in my comments. It would be wrong of us to take more money from our loyal supporters knowing their donations would likely be towards a futile cause. Don't even think about it. Black Eye Games is so desperate to avoid transparency, they would rather trick their players into thinking everything is fine. They continued to release skins, further encouraged players to buy the supporter pack, and continued updating and talking about the game's future like nothing was happening. What about the server merge people begged for? What about State of Wars? What about Guild Islands? What about player housing? Where are the fucking boats, man? This whole situation just speaks volumes about the way Black Eye Games views their community. Turns out I was right all along. If any Black Eye Games employees or volunteer workers want to take up an interview with me, please DM me on Discord or join my server and say something. Fellow players of Gloria Victus, as we near the game's final days, you are all welcome in the Swamp Discord. The link will be in the description. Here's the last thing I have to say. I'm not heartbroken by this news whatsoever. For me, my friends, and all the unfairly banned players, this is the first step towards being able to play again. Hopefully a new company is willing to pick up the game, or maybe our lovely community is able to establish a private server. Either way, you can bet I'm 100% willing to contribute in any way I can. I love this game as much as the next diehard fan, and I know what it's like to have it taken away from you. That's it for this video. The Glory of Victus uploads will continue until I've been drained of my clips. See you Swampers next week. Yeah. Bruh! How did I not stab him?